is up YouTube this is your boy big crime brand here hashtag fight your boss so today's video we're gonna talk about the different exchanges that I personally use um, these are my five that I use in no particular order you know top five or anything like that just my five that I use on a daily basis whenever I'm doing any type of crypto trading or transferring or um, you know buying or selling anything like that so let's go ahead and get this video started so now the very first exchange I use is Coinbase and the reason why I use Coinbase is because I, I buy uh, my crypto whether it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum or Litecoin directly with my debit or my credit card and it's instant when you do that now this is one of the the only exchanges that will allow you to buy directly with your debit card instantly uh, there's other exchanges where you can actually wire the money but it'll take like, anywhere between three to five business days before it'll show up and the, the problem with that is well the, the pro to that is the fees are very small you know it costs maybe two or three dollars to buy a thousand dollars worth of crypto um, but the downside is you know it takes three to five days and uh, the, another con that I do not like about that is let's say let's say an example Bitcoin you buy Bitcoin at fourteen thousand nine hundred sixty dollars, um, but it takes three days before it clears. Well, in those three days, your big the Bitcoin price has gone from fourteen thousand nine hundred sixty to twelve thousand dollars in three days. Your money is is holding, and it's actually fluctuating with the market. So it'll go down with the market before it clears. Um, but on the flip side of that, it can also go up with the market. So depending on what's happening with the news of, of Bitcoin and, and what's going on with cryptocurrency as a whole that can affect your money that you're waiting on that's being processed so I'm not I'm not a fan of that personally so I'll just rather uh, buy instantly and just you know eat the fees to, to buy instantly but one of my things that I actually do I don't really buy Bitcoin anymore I buy either Ethereum or Litecoin because the the fees to buy that with your debit and credit card are much cheaper and to transfer out is much cheaper and is faster than Bitcoin right now. Bitcoin is, is definitely being congested. The blockchain of Bitcoin is being congested. Uh, it takes hours sometimes to send to transfer your Bitcoin over to other exchanges, uh, whether it's lending platforms or you know other exchanges such as Coin exchange, a live coin, and stuff like this. So I'll, I'll talk about those here in a minute as well. So that's my little gem and my trick that I do. I'll buy Ethereum, a Litecoin, or even Bitcoin Cash, and I'll send it to that exchange, and then I'll just exchange it for Bitcoin once it gets over there. So that's what I do. But this is the very first one that I normally start with, which is Coinbase. And the uh, the links for all of these exchanges will be in the description. So if you do not have an account yet, go ahead and get those accounts created. Coinbase does have, a, uh, if you buy $100 worth of crypto, you'll receive $10 worth of Bitcoin back automatically as soon as you reach $100 uh, bought. It doesn't have to be $100 all at once. You know, it can be $10, $10, $10 or whatever. But, you know, so that's totally up to you on how you want to buy your cryptocurrency. But once you, once you reach $100, you will automatically be credited another ten dollars onto your account and that'll show up as Bitcoin alright so let's move on to the next exchange here that I that I used and this one is coin exchange now coin exchange is very unique and you, it, it'll take a little bit of getting used to the interface of what's going on here but what I've noticed is if you can catch some of these altcoins that you have no clue about Man, these things are, are blowing up like today as of right now uh, SHM has gone up 2260% today that's within a 24-hour period it's crazy so this is the type of stuff that's happening over here in coin exchange all the time so I'm always looking at these coins just to see what I can get in and get out you know day trade you know try to try to buy low sell high that's always the goal buy low sell high and never get caught buying at the peak and never get caught trying to buy when it's dropping because then you're, you're you're trying to catch a falling dagger so to speak in the you know in the trading world so 
Do not do that because you will lose. Murphy's Law will kick kick you in the butt <laughs> when you try to do that. So, you know, I, I'm actually holding some, some doggy coin over here. Uh, this is one of the exchanges that, that actually uses uh, doggy coin as one of the main um, currencies. So you have Bitcoin, Doggy Coin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, and Litecoin. These are the three that you can trade for other altcoins with. All right, so that's how that works. Um, let me go through the website here real quick. You have my account. Go to balances. Sometimes this website does lag. I've noticed that quite a bit. There's a lot of activity that happens here. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. But this is where you can see all of your balances and, and things like that. Um, I had more doggy coin, but I moved it over to another exchange and I bought a different coin with that doggy coin. So um, I don't really keep all of my currency in these exchanges. I'm, I'm, you know, because I, I mostly move my currency around. So I'm not going to have extremely high balances in most of my exchanges. But. Um, but yeah, so balances, deposits, withdrawals, and then you can come over here to the actions uh, whenever you need to deposit whatever currency, whether it's uh, Bitcoin. Say, for instance, you're, um, you need to send your Bitcoin over to Coin Exchange to buy one of these coins that are not you know, on the list here. So you have to click on the actions, click on that deposit. So I go right here. Click on deposit Bitcoin. You're... It will generate an address for you. You copy that address. You come back over here onto accounts. You send it. You paste that address in here. And you put in your amount, and then you continue. So this works exactly the same for every single exchange. You know, you're just doing from one currency to the other currency, whether it's Bitcoin to Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum to Ethereum. Litecoin, Litecoin, you know, anything like that. So just keep that in mind. And as you can see, the site is crashing on me as I'm trying to click on stuff. That's what happens with coin exchange. It's, it's extremely busy. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, Livecoin. I really do like Livecoin. You know, this this platform is, is very smooth and they 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 take the time out to, you know, make this look a little more user friendly and things like that. So some of the top currencies over here are Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, the XMR. I'm not even sure what XMR is. Uh, Dash, and then you have USD, and then Euro, and then the, I think this is like Russia or something like that. The Russian coin, I don't know. So, but these are the top ones for Livecoin. I've made some exchanges here. I had Gold Reward, the GRX coin, which it tanked. So I got I got out of that as fast as I could because. That wasn't looking good for them, but uh, so that's one of the go reward is one of the main ones that I focus on for live coin. Uh, I'm going to start doing more trading over here uh, here in the future so that I can you know build my portfolio here. All right, so moving on uh, the the next one here, which is very important for me, is Cryptopia. Cryptopia. <clears throat> has uh, certain coins that I am paying attention to quite a bit. So the very first one and the main one for me is Electronium. So if you guys don't know anything about Electronium or what's going on with that coin, you know, look at my previous videos about Electronium. Uh, follow them on social media, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and check to see what's going on with these guys and and see, you know their future they have a very very bright future on uh, for this coin and, and stuff like that so I'm definitely buying a lot of electronium and I'm holding electronium so I love I love that one love it so let me go ahead and minimize that the next one and one of the the most relevant ones is that's coming out today is Binance so Binance is is an awesome uh, exchange. So over here, I'm currently. Let me see here. Let me. Oh, am I not logged in? Give me a second. 
Let me see if I'm logged in still. It probably logged me out. Give me one moment. Let me go ahead and get logged back in. All right, there we go. So I've logged in here. So Binance is one of the the most used exchanges at this moment. You know, these guys they have IOTA, they have Ripple, um, they have Salt, they've got Lin, they've got Mana, they got Poe, and they even have Substratum. So these coins over here are booming constantly. So I'm always watching Binance. This is my main one that I that I'm always on and I'm always buying and selling stuff like that. So I you know right now these you're not allowed you can't create an account with Binance just yet because they, they've been so overwhelmed with so many new registers they have to upgrade the the website to allow more users to come in and actually you know trade uh, as well so whenever they finally get all that taken care of you know make sure you guys are, are constantly checking this out again all of the links will be in the description so you know click on those links get your account set up and start trading uh, one of the things that I do want to say about Binance you do have to uh, verify your account so uh, if you're outside, if you're in the United States, make sure you verify with the two-factor authentication because if you do not, you won't be able to withdraw any money out of Binance. They won't allow you. They'll only allow you to um, deposit. So that's what's going on with that. Let me see what they're talking about here. Oh, yeah, yeah, the red blocks. Okay. XRB. XRB looks like they may be adding XRB. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check into that. They're adding XRB. I'm buying a lot of XRB. But anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Bitcoin brand hashtag fire your boss hashtag 6K work week. I may actually edit this and add that hashtag 6K work week up in here. You know, that's that's going to be something new that I'll be saying as well. So trying to get on that 6K work week train, 6K a week will keep a boss away. Peace.